In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can use your screen recorder to record the content of your screen and also add a video overlay at the same time. You might want to do that if you're a creator and you want to brand the video as it's recording or add a logo or add some kind of promotional icon on top of the video. Let's look at how to do that. I'm going to click on the plugins menu at the upper left corner and then choose my screen recorder. That will minimize my PowerDirector application and put up my screen recorder controls. Let me give you a little extra tip. I'm going to be recording my secondary monitor and I found it difficult to figure out how to do that. So what I do is I click on the gear and then I choose video on the left panel and then choose instead of primary choose secondary. So that's a way to do that. I'll cancel out since it's the way I want it. Let's get to the video overlays. If I click on the video overlay button down here, it will take me to my file system. And that's where I can see if I have any video overlays. I can navigate wherever I want. And in this case, I can move to anything I like. Let's move to this icon here, double click on it. And it will take me to the full screen and it will put the video overlay on the lower right corner. Let's close the, the preview mode. I'm going to click on the plus here and see what it did. When I click on the plus, it opens up my video overlay room and shows me all the video overlays I have available. I automatically, just by clicking on it, added this one. Let's try to add another one. Here's another way you can do it. You can click in this panel on insert image. It takes you again to your file system. You can navigate wherever you want to in your file system. Click on another one and it will add it. Now you notice both of these are active because you have the eye with the circle in. If I have them both active at the same time, let's see what happens. So let me go back to my preview, which is the second button from the right. And now you notice I have two of them on the screen at the same time. I can change the position and the scale of either of them as much as I want to. Now what happens if I just want one of these? The temptation will be simply to click on the one you don't want and press the delete key. And it will delete it. But let me show you the negative of that. I'm going to turn off my preview. Go back here to the plus. If I delete it, it will disappear from my list of potential ones I can use in this project or other projects, and I'd have to reload it. The easier thing to do is simply turn this off here. I can delete it also by clicking on the trash can, but I don't want to delete it. I like it, but I'm not going to use it in this particular video. So I'll close the window. I'll go back to my preview screen, and now I have only the other one. Another thing you might want to do with an icon like this in a video overlay is you might want to make it a little less prominent. You might want to change the opacity. Now I can't change it on this screen, but if I close my preview again, go back into here, here's where I can control the opacity. So we'll dial it back just a little bit, close the window, go back to our preview, and now we see it slightly opaque. So what I'm going to do is do some recording. Now I've seen the preview of what it's going to look like. I'll close the preview mode and I'm going to start my recording in a moment. I'll press the record button and now it will count down and then begin to record. I'm recording my secondary screen which is not what the tutorial is being recorded on. So we'll pause this and then press the F3 to stop the recording. Once you stop the recording it will open up the file where the recording has been saved and in this case it's this one here and so what i'm going to do is close that screen and i'll close the screen recorder then i'll take my copy of power director and make it active again and will you you get into the media room use Control q which is one of my favorite commands and i'll take that and i'll bring it into the media room now I can take and drag it and put it on the timeline and we can preview it and edit it as many times as we want. We now have this with that logo automatically imposed on every frame of that particular recording. So that's one way in which you can take a video overlay and put it on the screen. You can actually have up to 10 on the screen at the same time if you so wish.